I'm in Great Falls, Montana, and this is a week that I have for the Orchestra Residencies Program for 2007. It, it's been really hard. I've had to practice a lot at home, and I've learned so much right now. Um, and I've been able to see what a real great musician is like, and being able to perform with her is just really exciting. I was shaking earlier this morning playing for her. I, I couldn't stop shaking, and I had the giggles and butterflies in my stomach. I was, I, I've never been so excited to play my instrument ever. At first I did feel nervous the first time we played through the piece, but as she told us what we could do to improve, I just really tried to listen and do what she said and it seemed to help a lot with the performance in general and I just felt more comfortable. Can you tell me what the meaning of a scherzo is? What does it mean, scherzo? Should we solicit some help from here? Hmm? It is a joke, yes, that's absolutely correct, yes. So, okay, well, do you want to use that element? I mean, don't you think that it's a little bit funny? Perhaps here. If they are able to remember many years later how wonderful their work was, with how much dedication and how much hard work they made it possible to play a concert, it's just a very memorable experience. At least for me, it is. Do you think that we could have a little bit better eye contact? You know, really being a little bit more aware of each other's body movements. You know, energy. Energy. This week, the Great Falls Symphony has an extraordinary offering by the great violinist Midori, who is here with us for the entire week, and she's here with us performing with the Great Falls Youth Orchestra. Tell our listeners a bit about your orchestra residency program. I started with an idea that I wanted to be actively engaged um, in making music, sharing the music, um, by creating it together, creating a performance together with the young people. This is the third year um, that I'm doing the program, and each place is different. Each orchestra, each youth orchestra has um, a very compelling story to tell. Uh, a very moving one, most often. Well, the community is very supportive of our music and all the arts here in Montana. The schools especially, they've always just been so supportive of the music classes, bands, and orchestras, choirs. Sometimes it's okay to hold a violin like this, but in a place like this, if you give it a little bit more space, holding it up like that, you know, it gives more freedom, flexibility for the right hand. It'll be easier, okay? So let's try it. Great Falls, Montana is geographically right in the middle of the state of Montana and it's the kind of place that if you drive 10 minutes out of town you're in the prairie so there really isn't suburbs to speak and we can't go to outlying communities to find additional teachers or additional performing personnel. Montanans take their music very seriously. Um, this is probably something that's not believed or understood on the West Coast, but it's the truth. The rest of this program is something that I could have only dreamed might ever happen. I get to have a conversation with Midori. We need musicians who are able to provide performances and educationally appropriate performances and presentations. We need schools to support music, general music education. I've been around this town for a, uh, a long time and I've gotten to see a lot of, of changes uh, with things. And one of the best changes that we've seen is the advent of, of the youth orchestra here 10 years ago. Um, if I had had the advantage of being able to play in an organization of that type, when I was the age of these, these high school kids, I would have been all over it, I can, I can t tell you that. This residency really has heightened what the youth orchestra can do. The excitement associated with a great artist like Midori coming into our community and playing a great concerto like the Mendelssohn really creates a really heightened anticipation 
for all of us, the kids playing in the orchestra, the parents, the teachers, and the audience as well. I've never practiced this hard in my life. You know, I want to I want to show her my capabilities and I want to be able to play as well as I can and be the musician that I know I want to be and you know, experiences like this don't come around very often, so I'm very very fortunate to have an artist such as Midori come and play with us and hear us play for her. They started this week as another bunch of high school kids and, and now they're much more professional in their attitude and, and in their abilities. The goal was to create sort of like a comprehensive week to include you know, our resident ensembles, our youth orchestra, community activities, um, public performances, things that would encompass more than just our small organization, bring it out into the community some, but also include every aspect of our organization from the adult symphony to the youth orchestra to the ensembles. Everyone could be involved and benefit from this experience in some way.